Hey guys, thanks for coming back for the second episode of Let's Code EC's Flow Coordinated Tutorial. In the earlier episode, uh, we had discussed about how to do the initial setup by removing all the dependencies to, uh, from Segway and launching the app coordinator from app delegate. Not saying that uh, Segway is bad, but it tends to uh, add a lot of coupling between layouts, uh, which is not a great way of uh, making it reusable. So in this episode, uh, we will venture into some hands-on by connecting the remaining aspects of making the navigation happen between layouts by defining all the remaining coordinators. We will define a base protocol and add the required functions uh, to add and remove dependencies between coordinators. By doing all this, uh, we will make sure that uh, we will arrive at a code base which has uh, minimal to zero coupling between modules. Single responsibility principle, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. So for this tutorial, it made sense for me to take up an earlier project which I had worked a long time back, like maybe a couple of years back, where uh, it was built using MVVM to an extent, I would say, because it's not a big project. I did not really care about how it had to work because I just had these many uh, layouts to handle. And uh, it was uh, more or less using view controllers and Realm, to, Realm for data storage and everything. So um, app works in a way like you can track projects. Every project that you add can be tracked. It's good for a freelancer to use. I, I had used it uh, some time back. I don't use it regularly, but it's more like, uh, let's say I add a project. So this app is called Log EC and it's, it's uh, my personal project. Can add stuff like uh, all these uh, and once I add that project it navigates to a view where uh, I can start uh, tracking that project let's say if I say I need to start logging log easy I've started working on it now it starts showing history of what's happening and everything so it was uh, built some time back it does not use coordinator pattern or anything was using segue as you can you see it it's more or less coupled the layouts are coupled so what i'm trying to do in this episode is actually remove all this segue and create coordinators and then integrate that and then make it happen like however it is working right now so first of all let's remove all the dependencies so everything starts with this navigation controller and then it launches this empty view controller and then all that happens. So let me just get, get rid of all the dependencies first. So this is my entry point, which I don't need anymore. So that's removed. I have this navigation set. I don't need a navigation. Let's say I just remove this all together. And this is my first entry point. Your controller I have these tab bar let's let's uh, do one by one okay let what I'm going to do is get rid of all the tab bar so now everything is independent each and every layout has no coupling to each other So I have these four of them I need to load and this is something which I had shown as to choose the project. So this is currently whatever I have right now without a dependencies. So what I'm going to right now do is create the initial launcher. Even before that let me just do another bit of refactoring where uh, I'll just remove the empty view controller because I really made sense at that point but uh, right now it does not make sense because 
uh, whatever I'll be doing is initially if there are no projects I need to show the screen and get that project added and then navigate to the remaining screen so with that in mind let me just uh, rework my existing project so let's add a folder a new group called coordinators and first thing that I'll be creating is uh, like the previous tutorial an app coordinator every coordinator will have a start function which can either start um uh, it can either st start the navigation or it can even create a view controller and return it through an observable or a closure or anything so whatever it does is uh, uh just to uh, set the initial uh layout like uh, let's say if i need a navigation controller so i can directly use that so let me just pick uh, grab a navigation controller which i already defined in an app coordinate so i'm just creating it uh, as is sorry so this i'm intending to have uh, as something where uh, I, i'll just use this navigation controller for uh, loading my project uh, view controller initially so that's the whole purpose of using this okay let me do something here let me just uh, migrate this to the current swift syntax so uh, i need to do it for these ones rest are all pots i will only do it for my project uh, and it and its extensions so that's it minimize interference recommended okay so it just gives me some errors related to this objective c this tag is gone already get rid of that maybe so let's go back to our problematic code so that's uh, now seem to be sorted only thing that i need to do right now is to maybe do a pod install to get the latest uh, version of the pods so also i like to make sure that i'm pointing to the latest yeah it's always latest run toast i don't maybe even point that to the latest one so that's complete now so all i did was right now <clears throat> add a navigation controller which will is required for initially launching let's say screen which might let's say do a present or a push so we need this that point that being the first thing and uh, next thing that we need to do is uh, to set the root view controller so let's say for that uh, let me just have a pick my pick up one code bit which I already have again. So this this is having a root view controller. So my app coordinator, even every other coordinator will have a root view controller. So all I'm doing right now is to uh, to have this ported to this. So that my root view controller will have an integrated protocol where it will be the set. So whenever the root view controller is set, we have to, at least in some cases, we might have to reset the root view controller of the window to the current root view controller. That's what trying, I'm trying to do here. So 
we need to accept the root view controller through the um, init function so the root view controller will be a UI view controller let's say the base one and I need to add a I'm sorry I just need to accept the window to, to this the UI window and then set the uh, window property here Sap dot window will be window so this we will receive through the app delegate similar to how we had done earlier tutorials so let's go back uh, to our app delegate <coughs> then create have a reference to coordinator and then uh, just create that uh, app coordinator uh, within the application start so as a first step let's do that so first thing is that I need to have an in I need to have an in um, instance of window created because we we are no more relying on the entry point and all so I'm just using this and then uh, as the next step let me just create the app coordinator and uh, this will accept window so once that's done i can just uh, call the app coordinator start function so that's that's where the initial magic will happen i have this start function where all i need to do is uh, have the first instantiation done so first step let's say I need uh, this for sure okay make key and visible that's like a uh, default thing which you need to do and then um, uh, let's say we'll just uh, launch the project view controller initially so for that let's create a function So project view controller is the first screen where uh, you can add a project or some stuff you can do so this is like you can coordinator to oh, <clears throat> launch a project so it does not accept anything so idly for if i'm a project i will need a coordinator then so let me call it the uh, projects coordinator so this is where uh, we need to now start uh, defining a protocol which will con every car every uh, coordinator can conform to so let's create that let me just call it the coordinator it's a protocol which will conform to only class type protocols so every coordinator can have child coordinators so that's nothing but an array of uh, coordinator the same thing so whatever you need as a coordinator should implement the coordinator so that's the basic necessity for a protocol coordinator 
and then we can always extend this coordinator to have other features let's say if i had to have an add a dependency of one coordinator to the other let's say so i can have a, a child coordinator which will accept a, a child coordinator and uh, all you need to do is to add uh, this thin this child coordinator child coordinator sorry so that's pretty much done and then you need to a uh, function to remove the dependency of the coordinator so you can just call it uh, more child coordinator So we call it child coordinator. <coughs> and uh, you need to is to have a filter applied on child coordinators where you just say that uh, you don't need uh, any child coordinators which are within these so that's your coordinate if it's not in this you just uh, remove all that so that will give you the <clears throat> formatted uh, it'll just remove this child coordinator from this collection so that that's a second function we'll just add so basically coordinators base will have child coordinators array so this is just to grab hold of all the dependencies like if there is a transition happening from one screen to the other like if let's say it's a push or a or a present or something and as soon as you're adding a um dependency f because navigation is going to happen from one coordinator to the other not from a view controller to the a different view controller so if you at least uh, when the navigation is happening the first coordinator should know that the second coordination coordinator is being pushed or presented so that it can act upon it uh, hold a reference to it so once its process is complete it can just get rid of that by just calling the remote child coordinator so that's the whole purpose of uh, coordinator So that's, a, that's the whole purpose of having these functions here so that being done let's go back to our app coordinator let that implement the coordinator so even before that uh, <clears throat> let's look at some other things about coordinator maybe so it can because every uh, every view controller or every coordinator needs to have know about the root view controller so it's it makes sense to have one more uh, property added uh, so let's do that with let's create one more protocol called uh, root view controller provider it's just that it just lets you include this each and every protocol that requires a coordinator like this so every coordinator if that needs a review controller has to conform to this as well so that's the whole purpose of it and then have this combined together let's uh, create uh, a final coordinator called root view coordinator which is nothing but uh, <clears throat> this along with the other one so this any coordinator which has which conforms to root view coordinator needs to implement all this that's the whole purpose let's go back so let's let's do this root view coordinator include that and this is already conforming or whatever we need to add is the child view coordinators which we can instantiate now so we are pretty much good with the app coordinator now where on start now it has to call the project view coordinator and get start or even 
launch it from the from here so let's go back to our projects coordinator let it in also so bad let's rename coordinator yeah so that's done let's implement the required things should ask me to implement yeah let's root view coordinator is not there do not rename it properly let me go back root view coordinator okay that's done let's go back yeah now it should ask me to implement here yeah, that is let's say if it requires child controllers if let's say if it requires a root view controller then we can provide it so these are the basic stuff i'm going to just include for the time being and then let's say it needs to start function i'm just not including the start function because uh, in many cases uh, it might just require a different approach all altogether instead of just being just void i may just have it as uh, an observable which might return a ui view controller or something so it's just for the convenience sake i'm just keeping it within the I'm just keeping it uh, within the classes which were requires it so, so that's done we have next step is uh, I'm going to introduce a library which will make my <clears throat> usage of uh, view controllers or uh, instantiating view controllers easier and uh, that's called R rx swift it's uh, pretty much deriving from the best practices I've seen in while creating Android applications where everything is type safe and whatever you create uh, will not be some string which um, so let's say in this case when we are if you are not using this we, then we might have to use a string to instantiate uh, my storyboard and then get that view controller using uh, some string reference or something instead I'm just introducing this RX will I'll just show you how it works so let me just install it okay that's getting that's happening now so that into that just installed RX r.swift so all i need to do right now is to grab a generated file there will be a file generated called r.swift somewhere I missed it i need to do something more there let me just go to their documentation go back to my target go to build phases and i need to add uh, A new run script and all I need to do is to grab and keep it within pod file lock and before the compile sources and then just add this bit of this there available in r.swift documentation all I need to do is to add this that's it and then just compile it once this is taking a while okay until then so what do we have right now let's go back to our app coordinator whatever I am right now trying to do is to let's say before that gets generated let me just add some of the things let me go here and I have every view controller go to its uh, class section pick up the storyboard id and add something that a bar controller so this in turn will be generated for us uh, within the code where we can access uh, this storyboard using r.storyboard.dot 
main dot this identifier so it becomes pretty much easier <coughs> okay so toastmaster it's just changed a bit i guess tap to dismiss okay it's okay it's fixed That's one uh, library which is used to show a toast message. So that's fixed now. So let me keep adding things required. Let's say if it is my project, let me add uh, the project as just just an identifier for everything. So let I just added uh, project view controller and this one. Now let's go back and add the data generated files. Yeah, you have it. This is a generated file, just nothing but something which is generated uh, by default, which will have all the required uh, information about all the layouts or images, everything. So now you can grab anything using something like r dot storyboard dots something or r dot image dot whatever image you added you don't need to rely on strings so that becomes type safe so that being done let's just add this that's it it's had auto generator is added now let me build it and just show you the magic come back here and uh, let me just grab the projects view controller here so give me r.c you have all the things required are reusable identifier name image font whatever you need is available here directly through type safe functions that better than the any other approach so main dot i have so whatever i have added as identifier now this will instantiate my project view controller so all i need to do now is to um create this send it back for it to be loaded there so I'm going to use a little bit of Rx Swift here. Rx Swift is not there, so let me just include that as a picture now. Include that. Install it. Taking a little time. It's okay. So that's also done. You might have to compile again for it to be included properly. Let's compile. Let's go back to our app coordinator activity. I did not compile properly. Let's go back and set up things. Maybe our Rx Swift is already available, so let's not worry about basic compilation. So, what I'm trying to do here is have an observable created which will return me a UI view controller. So, let me just create that. Uh, Observer and and once it is returned, it just completes. <laughs> So that's pretty much it. it just returns this so whatever the run function start function will modify now because it has to now subscribe to that just receive the view UI view controller here don't need all this let's create a dispose back <clears throat> ok 
okay that's it so start function head on subscription you will receive the viewer if you control or create so uh, this is required uh, because so uh, we are going to set uh, the root view controller when the project is getting launched so this being the first launch project view controller we have to we have to identify what needs to be the initials in this case it's just that uh, we don't have the tab already loaded <clears throat> project view controller will be launched on start we don't have a manager yet but then let's scale if no projects exist then call projects launch then let's say launch project screen so this launch project screen will then go to <clears throat> it launches the projects list screen if there is no data then it just shows that nothing is there you need to add something we launch a we present a screen where he can add a user can add a project and then once that is done uh, it just sends back uh, the, this is the navigation to the tab uh, tab view controller where you can choose to start a project uh, tracking or something so that's the whole idea here so that's the first step uh, we will have include that else statement later else launch the dashboard view to start tracking a project or something so this is something we'll add later so let's look at what is happening right now so we have added this here the root view controller the next step is we need to <coughs> uh, tell that this is going to be a navigation view controller and the root view controller is a ui navigation controller if it's if it identifies that it's a ui navigation controller then we push this uh we will just push our return view controller to this navigation controller so that's the initial step where when the app launches it calls if no project exists that's where i call uh, launch project view controller so that's uh, that's pretty much the initial idea when the app is launching so let's uh, walk through whatever we have done until now starting with app delegate in app delegate we have the app coordinator created where we pass the created uh, instance of ui window and then call the start function so within the app delegate it receives a window and then makes the start function where we are launching the project view controller and uh, where we have a version of project navigation controller already ui navigation controller available which we will let's say lazy load and whenever required we launch it so if when it is identified that the project view controller needs to be launched initially because there are no projects existing so we set the project navigation controller as the root view controller so that in turn will set the windows root view controller to current view controller which in this case is the ui navigation controller so that being done we'll call the project coordinator call the start function start function does create the project view controller instance uh, and then what does it say okay so we return the projects view controller and on complete we call the complete so this just returns it it's just a way of doing it using rx swift so let's see what happens now let's just basically run this and see it should give me a 
blank uh, screen with one plus button. So this is what is supposed to happen and it has happened now. There are no projects is existing. So it directly gives me that screen. We can keep a break button and see what happens. goes through this workflow where it loads the navigation view controller root view controller and adds my UI view controller there it's pretty much there now so the next logic that we are going to add is for this one this launch because you already have a UI navigation controller in place so let's call the same stuff log easy is my project client my own project maybe I'll charge myself then on add project it does create it so it at least should have navigated to the other screen which did not happen right now for that let's do something for that now so we need to 